Let's go, let's uh, go. You see the pictures I paint, son. Yeah. If I ain't the king of New York, then it ain't one. Rock and I were raised with so many of the same values. Like, you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond, that you do what you say you're going to do. My parents impressed on me the values that you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond, and you do what you say and keep your promise. That you treat people with dignity and respect, even if you don't know them, and even if you don't agree with them that you treat people with respect. They thought and showed me values and morals in their daily life. That is a lesson that I continue to pass along to our son. And we need to pass those lessons on to the many generations to follow. And Barack and I set out to build lives guided by these values and to pass them on to the next generation because we want our children and all children in this nation to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. Because Because we want our children in this nation to know that the only limit to your achievements is the strength of your dreams and your willingness to work for them. You know, they say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. As we just saw in that last clip, that's not always the case. You know, there's, there's, there's something that goes along with that because there's a fine line between flattering somebody through imitation and just outright stealing outright copying swag jacket i mean we can go on and on what we're gonna call this but there's there's a very fine line between somebody who admires you and somebody who's just stealing so I mention all of that to say that a lot of dudes, a lot of you car dudes, a lot of you dudes watching me right now, I'm not even going to, listen, it's, it's a few of y'all, and that's the reason why I'm speaking about this, but there's a few of you guys right now that's watching this channel and watching this video right now that have been taking it a little too far as far as copying me, right? Lately, I've been, I've been seeing your videos turn into my videos right and i try to support you know you guys watch my videos i watch your videos you know it, it, it's nothing new some of you dudes i've been you know we've been watching each other for years but it, I, it's just it's getting to the point where i'm starting to look at you dudes video and i'm, I'm thinking they're mine right i'm just waiting for y'all to say all right youtube let's get to work I'm, I'm waiting for that right now it is you know it's like it's been going on a while you know obviously little things here and there and it, and it, was, it really wasn't really a big deal because it's little things because you know we all know my, my videos are different these these videos are different you know I come talking to y'all about all different kind of topics real life topics whether it's about relationships whether it's about you know business it's, it's all different things that i discuss with you guys food everything right and when i first started doing that right a lot of you guys was acting a little funny you know what i mean i mean he wasn't gonna say nothing to me but he was acting funny about it you know i could tell because there was dudes that was that used to comment that stopped comment or whatever and i mean i'm not pressed for it so i don't care but the thing was is that all of a sudden now, some of y'all formats have changed. Now, now all of a sudden, y'all are all prolific. Now you want to talk to your, your followers and you want to talk about relationships. You want to talk about the business. Now y'all want to throw food in your videos, right? Of course, I'm not the first guy to throw food in the videos, but we know on this car platform, there is nobody got car videos like me. None. None. 
If y'all can name one person whose videos are like mine, I'll take that statement back. But you can't. And that's why, because I work hard to make sure that my videos are different. I don't chase the monetization. I'm not here. I, I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't do this stuff for views. This is entertainment. I'm here to entertain the people that repeatedly and loyally watch my videos. Because I, I appreciate that. But some of you guys have been peeping that. Y'all know the changes that's been happening. You know, y'all know. And rather than just talk to me, rather than just, you know... Yo, what's going on? You know, maybe help me tighten mine up or something. Y'all ain't doing that. I just gonna keep taking little pieces, little pieces of the videos till they start looking familiar. And I have a problem with that. You know, I mean, listen, I don't, I don't do internet beef. It's ridiculous. I told y'all before, it's way more money offline than there is online. But y'all still ain't paying attention. Some of y'all, some of y'all are. But some of y'all are not paying attention. And some of y'all just don't have the, the insight to build your own brand. You know, when it comes to business, there's three people who make money consistently when it comes to business. The person who invented the idea, the person who reinvented that same idea, and the person who copies it. Y'all ain't gonna boot like me, I promise you. Uh, and it, that's that's really what I that's what I want to say. I promise you that won't continue. How can I stop it, right? Listen, I'm not about reporting. I ain't even gonna do all of that. That's 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 girl stuff right there. But I promise you it won't continue. I I will be in your comments every time I see a video that's too close to mine, because some of y'all dudes is funny. I mean, as soon as I post a video, all of a sudden your video up a day or two days later, you on the same topic. You want to talk about it. You want to run with it. You want to expand. Listen, and I have no problems with that. See, the, the, the thing is, I want you guys to take the positive messages that I put in these videos, and I want you to share them on your platform. I want you to share it in your life. I want you to protect the women in your life. I want you guys to... Do everything that, that I, I share. I hope somebody takes something away from it. But the problem that we have is that line of respect. I'm going to give you a small example. You guys remember a couple of videos ago? I got that headband and I shouted out far away. Now, the reason I shouted out far away when I got that headband is because he was the first person I saw that was doing these videos, the car videos, with the head mount for the camera. It's a small thing. So I shouted him out. That's respect. Because that's his lane. Far away was the first dude I saw in the car videos with a head mount putting in work. So when I bought a head mount, I shouted out far away. Small thing, but respect is huge all the time. I have absolutely no problems with that man. And I shout him out. Comes through, leaves me a comment. I go through to him, leave him comments. I watch his videos. He watches my videos. It's cool. It's no problem. That's what it's supposed to be. We're supposed to be learning and growing from each other. We're supposed to keep each other motivated out here. Any creator out here, especially on this car thing, know that this field is getting crowded. And if you're trying to separate yourself from the field, you got to find your own lane. You're not going to stand out in the field standing in my lane. I promise you that won't happen. So, I'm going to say this. From this day forward, when I see videos that are too close to mine, I'm going to be in your comment section. So, I guess you should block me if you don't want me there. Because I'm going to be in your comment section. And as soon as your little fans be like, oh, man, that's uh, 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 I'm going to link the video like mine that you stole that from. If your video's too close to mine, I'm linking the original video. Of course, they're all dated, so we understand that. But you're not going to confuse the fans. I'm telling you, y'all dudes are not going to Nicki Minaj me and have these people out here. 
thinking that, you know, it, it's crazy. You know, I'm just like Lil' Kim out here. You know, them Nicki Minaj fans believe she started that style. Y'all ain't gonna confuse the fans, I promise you. So, I wish everybody success with their channel and what they're doing. <laughs> but you do you. I'm gonna continue to do me. But I'm gonna say this. I will be in your comment section is my next step. All right, YouTube. So now, let's get to the video. Uh. Cadillac grills, Cadillac mills. Check out the oil my Cadillac spills. What's up, YouTube? So you see we're still in the Cadillac project. Now, I know I confused some of y'all because I posted the Jeep. The Jeep is actually the next project. I just had to pick it up. Um... So yeah, I'm still working on the body work on this on this uh, Cadillac. So you see the door's been pretty much taken care of. All metal work, no filler yet. And uh, you know, the quarter panel, the car's been mostly sanded down. Uh, but today's video is not about body work. You guys look right there. See that right there? That is transmission fluid. Now when the car came in, it was leaking oil. But while the car was sitting here, I just kept noticing that puddle was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Anyway, it's transmission fluid, so today we're going to take care of the leaks. But hold on a second, hold on, hold on, YouTube, hold on, hold on. The owner of this car uh, happens to own a printing company called CustomTShirtBen.com. Let me turn this around. CustomTShirtBen.com. So he gave me one of his sweatshirts and hold on YouTube my name is on it Grand 7 y'all see that so anyway I mentioned that to mention that he made some decals for his new valve covers now it's chrome so it's a little hard to see because he made them in black but they say Cadillac on them I don't know if you got I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not but they say Cadillac on them you guys can see that anyway this is a new vinyl that he has that resists oil and water and heat and all that kind of stuff so it's supposed to last and if he's putting it on his own personal car I gotta believe him I mean he's putting it on his own car so we're gonna install these today also because of the transmission leak I'm also gonna change the fluid and the filter and the gasket and these are the um, valve cover gaskets and these are the valve cover hold downs for this now man he don't hear me recording ah right, anyway so if you see on here on the valve covers let me take it over here for a second youtube if you notice on the ones that's on the car already there's a um PCV valve on both sides uh, This doesn't have it so I'm gonna have to drill a hole to put that into here All right, YouTube Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me let me you know I gotta support YouTube. I gotta support people. I'm I'm, I'm all about support man. Don't act funny people support anyway custom t-shirt let me do it right here custom t-shirt bin dot com so now youtube on that note let's get to work